Thursday, the 31st of July, was an important day in the life of the companies Octodec and Premium, as well as those shareholders of Octodec and Premium. We received the formal uh, ratification by the various companies for what amounts to the acquisition of a premium by Octodec. The rationale for these two companies merging goes back a long, a long, a long way in time. Um, the main reason for this was that Octodec and Premium separately were both small individual companies that moved in and out of the of the indices and didn't always attract the attention of the bigger investor. However, now with the merger of Octodec Premium and uh, IPS, which came into the into the pot uh, at the beginning of last beginning of this year, um, we have a sizable company um, valued at in excess of 10 billion rand. The properties owned by Octodec Premium and IPS were all um, of a similar nature, um, managed by the same people, um, located geographically in the same location. So it didn't make sense to manage three um, small companies, but rather put them all into one pot and, um, and, and continue with the, the management of one company. The advent of REITs um, re removed the last um, impediment to this formal uh, merger in the sense that it removed any capital gains taxes that the previous uh, tax uh, legislation threatened us with. We are very excited. We think that um, the, one of the major advantages of this will be um, our ability to attract cheaper funding. And secondly, strategically, we want to try and move away from some of those smaller buildings that we were forced to acquire in the past and move to, to one or two bigger um, acquisitions and or projects um, and re-rate the quality in an attempt to re-rate the quality of our buildings.